So to connect the water in the back end of the she oak, I'll show you where the hoses are. Underneath the sink section, we've got them tucked away in here. Drag those out. There'll be two. One will be white and one will be orange. So white one will be indicating for cold, which is got the blue end. So you push that away from you and then that clicks into place. And the other hose is orange and that has a red or an orange end. Again, push that away from you, clip that in, and there is secure. After we've connected the hot and cold water line to the rear of the trailer where the kitchen sink is, we come to the front and we have two water lines here. We bring in the hot line to the front outlet here, which is marked with a red hot line. And then the other side is white, which is marked with a blue cold line. We've got this connected to a little instantaneous hot water system, which will be connected to a gas bottle. And what will happen is we'll turn our pump on the rear of the trailer. The water will come through the system. It'll come through this hot water system. It will re return back through these outlets here, and then it'll come out of the kitchen sink, hot or cold. So to access cold water only from the rear of the trailer, we would not connect this one. We would connect our cold line, turn on the pump and the water will come out of the kitchen sink cold. If you would like just cold water to come out of the draw bar, you need to turn the, the pump button on on the rear of the trailer and then turn this valve and the water will come out of the tank. To access the water tank, the she oak you'll receive a few keys. One of these is a long plain key. This is for your water tank. To open your water tank cap, put the key in and turn it anti-clockwise, then pull the cap out. Inside the cap you will notice two little notches. These need to line up with the socket to put the cap back. You need to leave the key in the lock the whole time because it won't lock without it. To lock the tank, turn the key clockwise.